Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin. Here on my channel, I cover all things beauty. That includes makeup, fragrance, and designer here and there. If you think that is something you'd be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. And in today's video, we are going to be doing this month's empties. Um, this is actually going to be October and November's empty since I didn't do October's um, and the bag is pretty hefty this time around as you can see like she is filled to the brim so um, I'm gonna leave her right there and I'm kind of just gonna go back and forth and grab so yeah we're gonna start off with some candles I've burned a lot of like Halloween candles and pumpkin -y candles because that's what I like to burn you know in October and November so yeah we're gonna start with this one this is the scent works candle and this is by um Slatkin and Co um who also makes the big homeworks candles so this is toasted pumpkin s'mores and it looks like this and the scent notes on here are pumpkin puree fluffy marshmallow white chocolate and toasted graham cracker so um I actually got this one from home goods and this one was good this one smelled really, really good. Pretty much smelled like a pumpkin s'more, like a pumpkin chocolatey, gooey goodness. And I loved this candle. And oh, when I purchased it, it retailed for $16.99. Um, and I really enjoyed this candle and I really love the glass. I, I'm really close to thinking like I want to repurpose this, like clean it out and repurpose it because it's a really, really nice container. So yeah, love this. Speaking of homeworks, my son burned up the chocolate birthday cake candle. Um, he loved this candle and I love this candle. It smelled amazing. This is one of those four wick candles. Um, it burned pretty good until the end and started doing its own little thing. Um, the scent notes on here are dark and milk chocolate, espresso powder, warm vanilla, and whipped cream. This smells exactly like chocolate birthday cake. And these will light up the entire house. His room was lit up with this candle. So much so I can smell it like all in the top uh, hallway uh, when I lit it downstairs. Because it, once it got to the end, he told me I could have it because he wants to get a new one. I burned it in like the kitchen area and it just it roamed through in the entire house. So this was an amazing, amazing candle. And I actually have one more of these. If you didn't see my homeworks haul, because that one didn't really do too good. I guess y'all don't love candles like I love candles. Um, I will have it linked below, but I absolutely love this one. And this one was also um, $16.99. The next candle was burnt by my husband and it looks like this. This is the Mahogany Teakwood Intense and he enjoys this candle. This is rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, and frosted lavender and this one burns well. It's a really nice sexy man scent. If you are looking for candles or home fragrances for like your man or your dad or your brother or something like that, this is always a really, really good go-to scent. Um, it smelled amazing and I, I highly recommend this one. All right, so next candle is a raspberry tangerine. And this is actually like a leftover candle from the old house that was halfway burnt. So I went ahead and just burnt it because I hate having a bunch of half used candles. This is Wild Raspberries Fresh Tangerine and Lemon Zest. I really, really enjoy this candle. This is one I really love to burn mainly in like spring and summer. It's really, really nice and juicy. I love, love the scent of this candle and it burned really, really good until the end. But it's just a really nice candle and they come up with this every single year. So you can best believe that I will definitely be picking up more in the spring and summer. All right, another like half burnt candle was Sugar Plum Fairy. And this is actually a Christmas candle that came out last year. This is sweet sugar plum, candied cranberries, and sugared orange. Um, This candle was okay. I feel like it was just okay. It was nothing special. We would never 
really buy this candle again the packaging on the front was really really cute but other than that it was like it was just nothing amazing about it two little random candles so this first one is summer melody i didn't want to burn this i really wanted to save this one but we were running really really low on um like little mini candles to go in the bathroom area so i had to go ahead and burn this but this smelled amazing like i really want them to come back out with summer melody it was one of the best summer scents um it has like melon and vanilla or something like that in it i can't remember i just know it smelled amazing and smelled like like sweet starburst or something i love love this scent if anyone has any extras and you want to love on me, send me this candle. Like, it smells uh, amazing and I, I love this scent so bad. I want them to come back out with it. And then the last little candle I have was also one I wasn't quite ready to part with, but the mister grabbed it because it's a lemon candle and this is ice lemon pound cake. Yeah, my love for ice lemon pound cake in candle form and body form is just oh, it's everything. I love this scent. It is the best mini pound cake scent ever. And it smelled so good. And this little candle lit it up. Like this one is amazing. They usually come back out with like ice lemon pound cake. Like um, I think in like the springtime. So you best to believe I will be stocking up because I think I may have one or two in the full size, but I love that one. And I just really don't ever want to be without it. As for candles are actually Halloween candles. And these were the ones I had been burning from October to, you know, early November. And um, yeah, so this first one is actually from Goose Creek and this is Candy Bag. And I absolutely love the packaging. Goose Creek has some of the cutest packaging, but this was from like Halloween, like two years ago. I did a haul. If I can find it, I will have it linked below, but that was my first Goose Creek haul. And honestly, I ain't bought no candles since then. I have been wanting to, but I just, get most of my candles from bbw or you know homework somewhere that i can go in the store and just grab them and goose creek is not like readily available in store so um eventually i do want to get more oh yeah because it says halloween collectors edition 2021 so yeah so this was i don't know what this was because i forgot that they don't keep the scent notes on here which is done this candle wasn't really that good it smelled heavily of like like grape candy and i just wanted it to be a little bit more spooky even though it says candy bag i knew it was going to be like a sweet candle but it was just it was just okay Goose creep candle was candy corn cake pop and it looks like this again packaging top tier um now one thing i don't like is like their lids rust or something i hate that it, and it, it, really, it didn't do it with this one as much but for some reason this one really really did it it was just okay it did smell a lot like candy corn and cake batter like mixed together but i don't know i just find that the goose creek candles that i have burned weren't like really that great like they they weren't as great as they were hyped up to be and um they weren't super super strong this one was definitely stronger than the candy one but it just it just wasn't strong it didn't really project i did have to put this in like a small room in order to kind of smell it which kind of sucks and that's my thing like if i have to order online and wait for delivery and all of this type of thing like i want them to be worth it and i just find that those candles wasn't really worth it. All right, then the next candle is Ghoul Friend. We all know and love her. Um, this one was from, I think last year or the year before, I can't remember. This one is Dark Strawberries, Ghostless, Ghostly Peony and Spine Chilling Citrus. And this was a really nice like strawberry candle. It just smells really, really good. I really enjoy Ghoul Friend and like, every form that it has I'm this out in full size because this one will be really really good and then the very last candle is going to be 
um, Midnight Spell and it looks like this and this was new from this year. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a haul. I'm mad that the packaging kind of was like burning off a little bit from the way the candle was burning um, at one point but this one smelled amazing and I wasn't really going to burn this one but Mr. Burned It. Um, he enjoyed this one a lot. He actually just finished burning this like two days ago. This is Mystic Air Moonlit Woods and Crystal Amber and this was definitely a nice sexy scent. I definitely wish I would have gotten more had I known he would actually thoroughly enjoy this candle. I'm going to be keeping this because the packaging is gorgeous and I did have this set up for Halloween this year on my like mantle and this one retailed for $36.95 so you know these like really really pricey candles I don't know I just want to keep so I did enjoy this all right then I have a couple soaps I want to try to run through really quick with you guys so mister finished up a sweet whiskey um this is golden amber vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries this is good it smells sexy um i don't per se like it for me but i definitely like it for him even though this is like a woman scent it smells more masculine to me finished up a pink peach blossom i have finished a few of these over like time peach nectar magnolia petals and mandarin this smells divine definitely a nice sweet peachy florally scent um this is peach bellini this is juicy peach white apricot and fresh mango my son loves this one so he actually picked this to put it in um the upstairs bathroom he loves this scent it is a nice another peach like true peach scent so that one's good um this is the mahogany apple and this is red mahogany woods um golden delicious apple and pink peppercorn this one was okay i'm not a huge apple fan but this one was decent um i think they had it upstairs and it, it smells pretty pretty good um it's nothing that i would personally purchase for myself but if they want it they can have it um i finished up a pumpkin cupcake y'all know this is like one of my favorites um this was baked pumpkin whipped vanilla frosting and golden honey this is delicious definitely one of the best pumpkin scents that they have out there very much a nice pumpkin like cakey scent so i love that is the spellbinding sweets and this is haunted lollipop sweet bubblegum and um bewitched berries and actually we finished up two of these but i accidentally threw the other one away and i think my husband is using one in the bathroom right now last soap is going to be this one and this one is actually vampire blood it came in the skull this year i love this um i love the packaging so i more likely will keep the packaging and just refill it next year um because it's really cute and i like it um i do hate that the black was i mean the gold was kind of like scraping off of this i wish they just would have made it all black so when it did that but yeah this one was really good not many body care products because if you don't know um i am doing a project a fall project so i'll have it linked below so i'm kind of working on that stuff you know i only show that in my project videos but this is the aromatherapy inspired joy juniper and sage this was actually really really nice definitely would repurchase this one and i already have a backup of this um, this was the Method Body Wash. This is the Coconut Rice Milk and Shea Butter. This is amazing. I have never used a Method Body Wash until I just bought this one. And it smelled so good. When you want something that is not heavily scented, that is great for a sensitive skin, this is plant-based. Um, it's amazing and I definitely would recommend this one and definitely would purchase this one again. And I think I got that from like Target then mister finished up a frosted coconut snowball this is frosted coconut north pole vanilla winter freesia snow kiss woods and spun sugar he said this one was good it was nice this is because we couldn't find his man scents but 
yeah to me this one was just okay this did recently just come out um it's not one of my favorite scents i'm not a big coconut scent as it is and this one smells a little bit too like like coconut like clean coconut and i'm not really into that so um definitely won't be repurchasing and the last thing is the manhattan nightcap and it looks like this and this is black santal sweet brandy and cherry wood this smelled really really nice he loved this scent i love this scent on him and also he finished up the eye wash but i have no idea where the container is on that so there's that like random bits and stuff so this is actually a peeps bath bomb and baby girl finished this um i think my auntie got her this in like her easter basket so she finally was able to use it in the tub it didn't break her out or anything like that and these come from like tj maxx and marshall's it turned the bath water pink and she loves that um then she finished up the um kids gummies these are actually the uh, up for probiotics brand um it's for digestive and immunity boost i didn't really know that they were probiotics i thought it was just like a you know all around like multivitamin gummy but these were nice and it definitely helped her go on a regular so um these were really good and these are pretty inexpensive she actually has some more that she's taking right now and so i can find um the gummies that i have been looking for that are sold out everywhere I finished up these main stay crispy treats these are the um wax melts that you can get from walmart this smells amazing it's actually what i have burning in my wax melt right now it smells exactly like, like a fruity pebbles like rice crispy treat and i highly recommend that all right, I have two hand um, creams. I have Twisted Peppermint, which smells amazing. This was from, I think, last year. And then I have Mary Cookie. This also smelled really, really good. I have a ton of hand creams that I need to get through. So I'm going to try to get through them. I have a couple of wildflowers. I have Strawberry Zachary. I have a Lemon Cello, which is supposed to be coming out in body care. And then I have a Market Peach. Um, these are okay like there's nothing really spectacular about these um i do feel like the limoncello was the best it was the strongest um but the rest of them just be like they be okay so i don't really get the hype behind the wildflowers but i'll probably just keep buying them anyway and then last but not least i finished up a couple makeup items so i finished up the Too faced uh hangover pillow balm this is the lip balm and banana kiss i love this i don't really love um this particular color because it had left that yellow like tinge on my lips which looked a little weird but i do love the pillow bombs and i actually have another one that i'm using now i finished up this elf liquid liner this was actually really really good um i love this to line my eyes um and i've been out for a while so i just i don't use anything um honestly i haven't been wearing makeup um i finished up uh, a, a lip liner and this is one of my favorite lip liners this was one of the nyx um lip liners this was in total baller and <laughs> she's gone um i finished up the bath and body works vanilla bean noel from last year i'm ready for them to bring the um these back out because these are my favorite lip glosses so i finished that and then i finished up two of my favorite concealers this is by kaja this is the don't settle concealer in 08 and 07 so yeah love that that's it that is everything that is out of the bag and until next time next time i will be doing my end of the year empties the next go round so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in another video